What movie is so disturbing, you would never watch it again? Old one but it's seared in my memory, the cook the thief, his wife, and her lover. I actually paid to see it in the theater. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw this in my early 20s and came back to it as an older, wiser adult. It's visually brilliant and emotionally devastating. We now think of Michael Gambon as Dumbledore, forgetting how tall and physically imposing he is. And we now think of Helen Mirren as prim and proper K, forgetting how excellent her emotional performances are. There's no extraneous detail or character interaction in this movie. I thought I was the only one who had seen this movie and was so disturbed by it. I will never, ever watch it again. Dead Girl Some guys find a dead girl, she is a zombie, and proceed to continuously have sex with her body. This progresses until one of the guys begins cutting holes into her body to have sex with as these holes are warmer and cozier. And then he gets infected when she bites him. Honestly just reading your description has fucked me up. I've never seen the movie, but I just read about it on Wikipedia. Apparently he gets infected not because she just happened to bite him, but because she bit his dick after he tried to get a blowjob. From a zombie. Antichrist is probably the only movie I've ever turned off in discomfort. I have a strong stomach. Apparently genital mutilation close-ups are my limit. The fox eating itself really disturbed me, too. Same with the lady ferociously masturbating. Just a dark, strange movie. It was recommended to me by a friend who is super chipper and upbeat. Very odd. I love this movie but Lars definitely tries to be horrible just to be horrible with his other movies and my patience for this is limited. Tusk genuinely fucked with me. Especially the pool scenes. After watching Tusk I genuinely don't know my feelings on it. Because on one hand, literally what the fuck it's really disturbing and gross but on the other hand there were just moments where I'd laugh out loud. Like the guy screaming walrus is never Cree. Fucking sent me for like 5 minutes. So I was thoroughly disturbed by the imagery but some other parts of the movie managed to stop it from giving me nightmares. This came up on TV one afternoon and my mom invited me to watch this with her, and I'm thinking oh, this is by Kevin Smith, I love mall rats, and such. She left to do something else within 15 minutes, leaving me by myself, not knowing the first thing about the movie. Imagine my face. A Serbian film. It feels like a sin even to mention this movie. Because no matter how many times you say but don't watch it. Seriously. Someone watches it every time its name is spoken. I just looked up the plot and read the entire thing. What the fuck? How the actual fuck was this film made? How did actors agree to be a part of it? How did crew members not quit? How much of what I just read, do you actually see on camera? There's not even a moral message to the plot. I'm shook. Sallow. I was gonna say the same thing. That movie is fucked up. Made me sick. I had to sign a waiver at the video store when I rented this in 2009. Lots of poop. Lots of rape. I'd like to say Martyrs, 2008, but chances are I'll re-watch it sometime. Then again over been meaning to re-watch Watership Down, 1978, and have not managed to bring myself to it, so. Edit, if you're going to check out Martyrs, don't read about it. Go in blind like I did. Watership Down is a good book, interesting premise. Why they chose to make a fucking animated film out of it is beyond me. And yes, I saw it in the theater when it came out. I was 11. Thanks mom. I worked with Pascal Logier, the director of Martyrs, on one of his follow-up films. Deeply respected the guy going in and advocated quite a bit to work on his film. About three to four weeks later, I had lost all respect for him. Fuck that guy. He's a pervert, a sadist and an all-around piece of shit human being. Two weeks straight of women being beaten, bloodied and tortured, it was fake of course. The director spent countless hours on the torture scenes pushing the actresses to their absolute emotional limits to scream and cry as much as possible. 
It's really hard to describe what it is like experiencing multiple women crying and screaming for several hours a day, two weeks in a row despite being fake, it really affects you. One of the higher-up crew members quit because she claimed she caught him rubbing his dick through his pants during one of these scenes while behind the monitor. Nobody else claims to have seen it. The worst was when of the lead actresses fell through a glass window on the last day of production. Wasn't safety. Wasn't stunt glass. Wasn't in the script prior to director telling her to pound on it. Glass shatters. She was sliced neck to ear across her face. I was there. She's screaming bloody murder for her life. Glass barely missed her artery, as we were told later, and the fucking cunt Pascal Logier turns to his first assistant director and director of photography and whispers fairly nonchalantly, when can we start shooting again? Within several hours the movie was done shooting and all them are hugging, celebrating, shaking hands. I felt I had PTSD for months after working on that film. Ratatouille god I don't even want to explain. We still make fun of my dad because he bought that thinking it was Ratatouille to Lamau. Seeing this pop up in a sea of cannibal holocaust and we need to talk about Kevin gave me whiplash. Dear Zachary, a letter to a son about his father. Fuck me up. What was so messed up about this one? Never heard of it. Came here to say the same thing. Watched it five years ago and still not over it. Threads. Up until a few years ago I'd have said the same. I was shown the entire film in school and had vivid nightmares for years. Instead of being paranoid about being vaporized without warning at all times, I started to look into the Cold War as a subject. I'm a bit obsessed now, and having rewatched Threads many times, it's an excellent film. The tiny details in it during the build-up show just how much effort went into it. I completely understand why you wouldn't want to watch it again, but as a cultural icon it's superb. I read a review which was basically on no account should you ever ever watch threads and that did it for me. The Emoji Movie. Disgusting. Went with my wife and daughter. That was an expensive nap. We need to talk about Kevin and Antichrist. The book for We Need to Talk About Kevin was so much worse. I almost didn't finish reading it, but I had to find out how it ended. Came here to say we need to talk about Kevin. Gave me nightmares for days after. Grave of the Fireflies. Highly recommend this to most people who can handle it. I think it does a phenomenal job of showing the atrocities of war and helps us remember the human cost. It is a sad movie, but I think I'm much more empathetic to others who live, or lived, this reality. Yeah that one isn't one I'm going to watch again. 13 year old me thought I was tough and wasn't going to get emotional, let alone cry. That one still fucks me up nearly 20 years later. The White Christmas episode of Black Mirror. It's not a movie, but it has more plot than most movies. It's not even about gratuitous score, it's mostly psychological and hit paranoias I didn't know I had. Also you can watch it without seeing any other part of the series. I was thinking of White Bear when reading this. That one was tough too. Playtest is one of my favorites, but watching it for the first time, I was so shocked by the ending, that I sat there for solid probably 20 minutes just thinking about it. Bone Tomahawk. It was a really great movie until it was awful to watch. It is very slow moving but the dialogue is great. However, the ending is very hard to watch. Am anyone want to elaborate? Holy shit, yes. I was not prepared for this whatsoever. Apocalypse Now. I know a lot of people love it, but the scene where the family is hiding something and so the soldiers kill them all and the something turns out to be a puppy. I just wanted existence to be done after that. That fucking film. You just reminded me of yet another film I was too young to see. Thanks mom. My dad took my mom to see it for their first date. She didn't know what she was in for plus was not a fan especially because it was so long plus she doesn't even like war movies. She used to jokingly say that she should have taken this as a sign. 
I did the whole requiem for a dream thing enough in HS, I never need to watch that depressing movie again. A friend of mine convinced me to watch this on mushrooms with him and my life has been separated by before and after that movie ever since. I'm going to be on television. The mother's character really messed me up and made me terrified of lonely isolation later in life. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.